Hello and welcome to this new construct tutorial on how to create your own COVID-19 app using an external API. Um, let me just run the end result here. This is a really small application. I just run the end result and I click OK and here we have the sad statistics on COVID-19 of today. Um, so many new confirmed cases, total confirmed cases, deaths and recovered cases. So this information is obtained from the internet using an external API. Um, so let me go to the website where this API is advertised. I will leave a link in the description where you can get this. So please do really note that this is actually a paying API, but for um, uh, some functionalities you don't have to pay, these are public, like the one I'm going to use now especially if you don't use them too many times um, it's free so you can use it to like uh, prototype your app or something like that or to uh, get some uh, extra information or get acquainted with using external API so let's see how that works well here on the main layout I have just the OK button that gets the information from the API really and I've just put uh, six labels on it nothing special there and here also six labels which I've included just percentage zero it doesn't really matter what you put in there um, uh, I've just added something to be able to place the label somewhere in the layout um, but what I did do is I added an instance variable called ID. You can see it here. ID is NC for new confirmed, TC for total confirmed, and D for new deaths and stuff like that. Just to be able to identify the uh, individual uh, objects, uh, which I've called value text here. Um, the alternative would have been to have six different object types but I'm not too big a fan of having too many object types in my um, my games so that's why I did it this way so how to do that it's actually very very simple you just need to include the Ajax plugin into your um, into your project and then if you look go look into the documentation of the API you can see that the URL location uh, it uses uh, get functionality of HTML uh, or HTTP rather um, to get uh, the information in JSON format so whenever you do this uh, for example this URL you get all of this information um, close this on up and uh, whenever you do this you get a summary information for global uh, stuff uh, the numbers I've just mentioned are also here so and that's what I've been using here so I will just do a get of this URL this address and that's what I do here in the Ajax plugin um, I give it a tag called COVID you can name it whatever you want and this is I just copy pasted the exact URL in here and then what the Ajax plugin will do whenever it completes the get operation here um, it will use the expression Ajax dot last data to get the response and the response as you can see in the documentation here is a JSON tag which is uh, which has a global as an identifier here and under that there are six different tags um, new confirmed double confirmed etc so how to uh, see that let me just run that again and press the button um, oh yeah forgot there's a text here which is not initially visible and you can see it got the external JSON data here at the bottom um, where you can see I've just edited the text of JSON text which is at the bottom there and I've converted it to the beautified string of the JSON which I put past the last Ajax last data value of Ajax in. so parse parse action parses the JSON that it obtained from the API and just show it here and then I use the six texts here 
which I've identified using the ID instance variable. Um, and then I just do a json.get. And if you know the JSON formatting or the syntax you need to use, it's just global and then a dot and then a new confirmed to uh, get this global and within global you need to uh, put a dot in between new confirmed and then it will get that information for you. So that's it, very simple example on how to use external API uh, and it can be expanded of course for other API if you want to. Um, so I hope you liked it as always, please like and subscribe and see you next time.